Today I'm going to review Gun with Occasional Music. I hope you can see that cover. Um, I, I had to take off the... Um, I, I can't remove that thing that's on there because it's uh, on interlibrary loan. But uh, if you could just make out the cover, maybe I'll try to insert a, a cover image if I can find one that reflects this. It's just... This book is possibly the best damn book I've read in years. It's a hard-boiled mystery set in a dystopian society, and what happens in it is just, it's just awesome. It's an awesome story. I mean, you've got um, all the twists of a hard-boiled mystery, the, um, the, 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 the way the language is used is like Chandler-esque, but more so, I mean, it's it's just elevated to a new level here. And you've got sci-fi, you've got uh, these genetically modified humans called baby heads. I won't go into who they are or what they are. You just have to read the book. But they are kind of, as you might imagine them, baby heads. And there are also animals who talk and act like humans and hold human jobs. And in particular, there's this kangaroo that, well, leaves an impression. Um, the, the name Gun with Occasional Music is explained at the end, and I'm not going to tell you how or why. You simply have to read the book. And it's just the best damn hard-boiled mystery I've read in perhaps forever. So Jonathan Lethem has become now my new favorite author ever. So I highly recommend you get this book. Get your hands on this book any way that you can. I was really lucky to get this through the library. So in any event, great, great story. And I intend to read some more by Jonathan Levin. Gun with Occasional Music. Raymond Chandler would be envious. <laughs> or something, or maybe he would be uh, thrilled because it, it emulates him and yet at the same time combines science fiction in a way that is so imaginative. In any case, that's my thought for the week. Thanks, and I'll talk to you later.